I shared with you last week that I am accepting what's ahead this season on the farm. And yes, part of that means accepting that it's just cold outside. But I gotta tell ya, inside the four walls of our home, the creativity right now is on fire. The world may be noisy and crazy. It may be coming at us from all angles. But within our homes, we can be still. We can be still here and create what is good and true and beautiful. Today and every day for me, that means starting with a clean room because when I have a blank slate, I can create better from it. I cannot speak highly enough about American Blossom Linens. You guys need to check them out. I've put a link below if you'd like to, but I've had these sheets now for a year. My bed feels so homey and cozy and restful and my bedroom, a place where I can create from. It's a little place I can tuck away where I can dream and think of ideas. It may seem a small thing, but having a blank slate, a place that gives you rest, allows you to create from that place. And that's where I want to create from. I've put a link below for the sheets if you'd like to check them out. Once the stage is set, now we get to go back to creativity. Charlotte Mason talks about fostering an environment of creativity and learning in the home. And so within our walls, we've had to ask ourselves, what are we creating lately? What's here to stimulate our minds and grow us in our skills? What's here for fun, for entertainment, for joy, for learning? And I think that's a fun question to ask. But before we get there completely, let's have a cup of coffee. I gotta be honest, I think I'm much more creative when I'm caffeinated. One of the ways that we're fostering creativity around the home this season is with music. Our kids are learning piano so that they can learn to read music and learn notes and learn the general principles behind it. And it's been fun to not only see them play music, but also begin coming up with ideas themselves. And as much as I dislike crafting, we broke out a few holiday crafts to do with the little kids. It keeps them putting their hand to something, and I think that's where the magic comes from. It reminds me of a verse in 1 Thessalonians that says, aspire to live quietly and to mind your own affairs and to work with your hands. I find this to be very true. When the world gets too noisy and the speed of things gets too quick, to just put your head down 
mind your own business, and put your hand to something, be it work or creativity. It rests the soul. I think the expectation is that you have to be some sort of expert to do these things. But that's simply not true. It's a state of mind, of growth, of exploration. I'm reminded of a poem about creativity by JNW. I want to be alive so that I can feel like the moon, throwing tides just for fun, creating because it's what I'm here to do. For me this season, it means starting a new fine art series on the blog to showcase food and farm objects. And that has meant a steep learning curve in fine art photography and in Photoshop. But it's also given me in my teeny little corner of my office, a place for creativity, an outlet for what's in, a stillness of mind that only comes from creating. It's amazing how quiet the world can get when you're focused on the colors and textures and shadows and light in a photograph. Or on just cooking a meal in a new way. For me, cooking over the fire is a new creative way to express what I want to create in my kitchen. It's rustic farm food. That's the food that I love to cook and the food I love to eat. And it doesn't get more rustic than cooking it over a fire. I don't know much about cooking over a fire, but I'm learning, and I think that is the point. What are you learning lately? For this season is that though we can't control the outside world or anything that goes on out there, that the walls of our home would be filled with smells and tastes and colors and textures and creations in all that is good and true and beautiful, that our minds and lives would be quiet, that we would mind our own affairs and tend to our own home, and that we would work faithfully and quietly with our hands to produce, to create. <laughs>